Hey, welcome back to Whitetail Garage. Uh, this weekend, still cold outside. Uh, I'm gonna, I went ahead and pulled the convertible top out uh, in the sun, and I'm gonna fiddle with it a little bit. I think it's, uh, it's still 58 degrees outside, but. I'm gonna fiddle with it, do a little bit of things, see if I can get it aligned. It's already been in the sun for about 30 minutes, and so I can already tell it's getting a little bit pliable. Uh, so hopefully we can make some progress on that. Let's jump into it. So one of the first things I'm going to do is go ahead and get the uh, uh, tension cable in there. So I've already got it around, uh, hooked around the uh, hook down there. I just have to hammer that down. All right, so I had to go back and put these, uh, put the metal strips in the top. Because once you put this in completely, then you can't, you don't get access to these. <clears throat> I don't know if they're always that way, but my number two metal strip was shorter than my number three. So, I don't know if it's necessarily that way, because it's really just the ends, the bolt holes are the same, so. Next, I'm going to take that ball, stick it in there. Now there's a little rubber piece that goes in that hole that keeps the ball from coming back out. Uh, and what NPD recommended is these glove box bumpers. So I got those from NPD, I'm gonna put those in now. Now what I'm thinking, because I want this flat on the outside, is I'm gonna take it from the inside and push them in. Yep, that worked perfectly. Let me get this other one in and I'll give you a close-up. All right, so you can see right there, basically just that bumper is in on the back side and uh, just twisted so that way that ball can't come back out of that hole. Pulling this piece over to what? Yeah, how far? So, how far down do you need to go? There's a there's one spot. The lip is over the. Now with your hand like this. Hold it. Pull uh, 
pull the corner in. Yeah, see, that's where we'll get that stretch from. There we go. That's really good. That was. Come over here real quick and hold this one. See, every time we do it, it gets better. Well, that's because we've also got it stretched with these clips now, yeah. but yeah. But this is also going to make a difference. No, this is, once this is stapled, this just needs to be worked out. I'll have to keep working on it. Right. You can see the rest of it falls in where it's supposed to. Yeah. So I've said it multiple times. I, I don't really know what I'm doing here, but I think I've got it where I want it. I've got the corners pulled in tight. And because I don't have the weather strip in there or anything, the center is a little loose. So I have her pulling on it. And uh, I'm going to run a chalk line across the front. So the only thing I got to work out is I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I guess you can. These ripples right here are not right. Maybe that's because of this. Thing. I mean, it. It looks right all back here until you get down here. Obviously, this is wrong. I need to move that around the back side. But then I think pulling this down in the center is going to pull these ripples out. So I've got the chalk line across the front, and I'm actually going to pull it a little tighter than that uh, and actually glue it. Need a mask? All right, we're coming along. I thought I'd check in with you here. I've uh, I've got this where I want it. It's not it's not perfect, but my hope is that after I get the back quarters done, finish gluing in these pieces, um, that it'll be right, good enough. I've got it where all of the spots, all of the like all of the obvious places where it's supposed to line up, line up like that's correct like you could see under here where that uh, uh the tension wire comes out and it comes out of the front of the top you can see right where it goes in that you can't go any further forward than that so that's as tight as you can pull it we've done that uh the only thing i have is like right in this area on both sides i get a little bit of a ripple that doesn't look great i'm hoping that with heat and and age right the sun it'll It'll iron those out. We'll see. If not, it's not enough where I'm going to stress about it. Uh, so the next, I've got to finish up these corners. And then the wind seal is going to go on. Uh, and then start working my way towards the back. I still have to work on these recorders. I haven't done that yet. And I don't want to glue the recorders in until I've got these situated the way they need to be. So that's where I'm going to next. Just put some glue in here so I'm letting that get tacky and get ready. So I'll be jumping on that now. All right, next day I've clamped down these corners to try and get the contact cement to hold. So I'm going to take them off now and see those corners where there's a lot going on because you have to fold over the, the wind seal um, in a, a couple of different ways. Like you have to 45 it and fold over the end so it hides the foam core. Uh, so I'm gonna take it and see, see what it looks like. Overall, I'm happy with the way that turned out. Uh, got the seal across the front, wind seal. Um, you know, all this has to kind of still bake in the sun. Still got a little bit of uh, looseness here, but I tried getting that out and really couldn't. I get, I've get i got tightness everywhere else. You know, I've got it pulled tight enough 
across these. Um, so right now the only thing left for me is get this good and then I am happy. I'll go ahead and pull these after I'm done here and then I'll put the uh, wire on after I finish this as well. So uh, I'm going to start with that next, getting these uh, unwrinkled and then uh, and then call it. All right, well, I've made a bunch of progress that I was real excited about. The header bow is all done, but uh, look, I've got the, uh, you can't really see it in this light, but I've got the uh, wind seal in, the front weather strip is bolted in. I'm missing a few bolts. I did find them, uh, MPD does have them, an AMK part number. Um, so I'll have to get those coming, but I, I have eight of the 12, so I just uh, skip them. And actually on my uh, uh, listing rods for the second and third bows, I'm actually missing a screw on each one of those as well. So I've, um, I'm have i going to have to get those from MPD as well. I did find uh, those screws as well. But I moved on to the back like I said I was going to, and I mean, you can see the whole, the whole top got loose, which is you know what you expect. When you when you unbolt these quarters, but now I have to stretch it again, and so it's too cold in here. Let's see what's the temperature in here. It's 52 degrees, and so in 52 degree weather, I just can't stretch. I mean, it's just the stuff is just it's just rock hard. I can't uh, I can't stretch it the way I need to, and I just like I started to pull on it, but it pops the staples because it's just that hard. And when it's in the sun and a little warm, I mean, not even a huge amount warm, but just a little warm, all of a sudden it becomes super pliable. I mean, again, that's what you'd expect. I was surprised at how how different that is uh, because the to get this far, it was um, it was about 60 degrees outside, but really sunny. Uh, and it sat out for about an hour and a half in the sun. And then all of a sudden I was able to pull it and stretch it. So... I'm gonna have to end this until I can, until I can get uh, it back out in the sun and, and stretch it some more. I may try fiddling with a heat gun and see if that gets me anywhere, but uh, I'm concerned about overheating one particular area. And I mean, I can see as soon as I loosened it up back here, I saw it loosen all the way on the opposite corner. And so, uh, so I'm I'm concerned that if I uh, don't heat the right areas, that I'm just gonna stretch it. Uh, and not stretch it evenly across the whole top. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, I did. So here's one thing. I'll I'll show you this. Hang on. So you can see I've been at it a couple of times trying to get the uh, trying to get it right. According to the manufacturer, uh, Key uh, Auto Tops, this line should be in the center of the bow. Uh, so I've done that. What I did differently, they ask or they recommend that this be at the very edge. So before I, I took the edge as this stitching right here, because you can see this flap is kind of in the way as you align that. And it kind of makes it hard to get past that stitch right there. So I took that as the front edge. So that means this kind of what my thumb is on now kind of protruded past the edge of this. And I think that's why I got that wrinkle up here. Because this was, I mean, as you can see right there, kind of jammed up against right here, which you don't really want. This this should be kind of floating freely right back here and allowing this flap to glue right into this edge uh, is where it should be. And this should just kind of overlap, like right where my finger is at is where it should kind of overlap. And so I went ahead and tried this. Uh, pulled it out and that's where I learned that I I can't pull it back far enough to get it anywhere in the corner where it needs to be I mean I could drop the top, but then I, I think I'll struggle with Getting it to close properly because it's so uh, cold So for now, I'm gonna wait, but this is what I've tried now is just again uh, gone across and stapled it in the center again all the way around um, and we'll uh, See if that works when we can get it uh, warm again. So a little frustrating, right? Uh, but, uh, you know, i never done this before. And uh, there's a big difference between doing it in cold weather uh, versus hot weather. So uh, having never done it before, I want to make sure that I'm giving myself 
all the opportunities to be successful. So I'm going to move on to something else, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.